Hi there, and welcome to the introduction to InDesign. This will be a series of videos to go with the photo book class in DIT, BA in Photography. This is Tim. Uh, most of you will know me and my smiling face. So, first question we have is, why use InDesign? InDesign is a page layout program graphic design program designed to combine text and images to prepare them for print output. All right? We've got lots of ways of doing print output. We've got lots of ways of combining text and images. Put it in Photoshop, do it in Microsoft Word. Neither of those methods give you the control that a page layout program does. Now, here's a window in InDesign with a book that I'm going to use as an example on a number of different things and this is the cover page. All right? right now it's in the preview mode so it's more or less what it's going to look like when it's printed. All right? So if I go over here to the menu I can if I go over here to the menu I can go to the normal view and this shows me the elements that I'm using to put this page together. The black line is the border of the piece of paper that this is designed to fit and in this case if I go up to document setup you can see that it is an A5 page size alright we're gonna go through all these controls as we go through the term all right. now the red line on the outside is what's called the, ble the bleed and that is when you are printing an image to the edge of the page you need to have a little bit of that image run across the edge so that when the paper goes through the press you don't leave a little bit cut off or leave a little bit of white along the edge of the page. The, pink, the magenta line here is the margin and on other pages you'll see how I use that to line up pages within the book I have them fit to that margin and so I can set that to whatever size I want. Okay. So I talk about control with these things. Here I have a picture. Here I have one text box. Here I have another text box. If I click on this picture box, the handles show up. And I can see my X and Y measurements. So right now it's at 98 millimeters across the page and a minus 3 millimeters above the edge of the page. Okay. The great thing about this is that I can control the spacing and the size to the thousandth of a millimeter. So if I decide that 115 millimeters wide is not what I want, I can make it 115.028, let's say. Of course, when I click OK, we're not going to be able to see that change because we're talking 28 thousandth of a millimeter minuscule distinction but isn't that incredible that we can make that fine a change so you can see that little jump when I made the change to 116 millimeters alright so fantastic stuff 145.972 millimeters and we'll see that get smaller alright uh, so fantastic amount of control. I can move it by hand. I can control it by the menu palette as well. All right. You can see on these text boxes my measurements aren't exactly round numbers because I aligned those by eye. I wanted to have a bit of text in black, a bit of text reversed out in white, and so I just grabbed it and moved it around until it went to the place that I wanted. And then I can use my arrow keys to make it move bit by bit. And the one below it, I can just line that up any way I want. All right. So we get to control elements with extreme precision. We get to make every element fit where we want it on the page just as you, would have, you wouldn't have an exhibition where you hung your pictures up crooked or you hung up dirty or scratched or torn prints. You want your presentation to be professional 
and precise so that people come in and look at the images that you've got. What are those pictures trying to say? Not, oh, it's kind of a nice picture, but geez, it's a bit of a mushy print. You want them to focus on exactly what your pictures are trying to say, not on the mistakes you made in presenting those images. All right. So InDesign is our tool of choice for page layout. Works very similar to Quark Express. They're more the same, but, but InDesign is the most dominant one at the moment. So you'll be able to look through a number of different videos that will cover a range of tools and design issues and will come up with some fantastic material that presents your work really, really well. All right. See you next time.